82% of YC's latest companies are AI focused. But here's the kicker. Most of the founders are building in overcrowded space and missing massive opportunities in untapped markets. Now, what if I told you that by the end of this video, you'll know exactly where YC is placing its bets in 2025. Now, from AI agents to developer tools, fintech tools, space tech, healthcare, different industries, different technologies, I have analyzed 400 YC companies to uncover the patterns that get startups funded. Whether you are a founder, investor, or anybody who is curious to understand what is the future of tech and AI, this is the video that's going to show you where the opportunities are, what's trending, what's getting accepted, what's getting funded. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in. For this analysis, I collected the data from YC's startup directory from their latest cohorts. Those are Summer 24, Fall 24, and Winter 25. And this data required some cleaning, so I had to process it into a format that makes uh, the analysis easier for me to carry out. I got 396 companies uh, with the enriched information, their URLs, tags, industries, founders information, LinkedIn, uh, website links, of course, and description, like what the company actually does. And looking at this data set, I got you know many exceptional use cases of AI. So yeah, if you want to conduct your own analysis, you need the data, uh, you can find the link in the description. So let's unpack what is working NYC, what kind of startups are getting accepted. So starting with the big picture, out of the 396 companies that got accepted in these three cohorts, 325, 82% of them were AI focused and only 71 companies were non-AI companies. Now, this is a strong data point. This makes it very clear that YC has its clear focus on AI companies. Like Having said that, does not mean that non-AI founders, founders who have got some really good solution for traditional industries or some new or unique solution for uh, emerging technologies like space tech or you know healthcare tech, but their clear focus is on AI companies as the numbers are telling us if you're building a solution around AI, you would be you know, in a good space, you would know that their focus is also in the same direction on the same technology. Now, here's where the action is. AI agents, 144 startups that are building AI agents for everything from productivity to customer service. Developer tools, 76 startups are creating tools for AI development like Mem0. Mem0 is basically providing a memory layer for large language models, industry-specific AI. Healthcare, finance, education are seeing massive AI adoption with startups like Taxo, which are automating medical billing, and there is Capital AI, which is personalizing education. But here's the catch. While AI is everywhere, not all the spaces are created equal. Some have become overcrowded while others are just heating up. Now, if you're thinking where the money is flowing, the answer is simple and it's very clear, it's B2B. 69% of YC's latest startups are B2B. Think workflow automation, developer infrastructure or industry specific solutions. Companies like Tabler, they are automating accounting. Companies like Mem0, they're building solutions for AI developers because they are building large language models and that requires infrastructure. Only 17% of the companies are in B2C. So apps like PAP, which is personal finance application, and then there is Be Better, which is a sports betting application. Now these are outliers in a sea of enterprise focused uh, applications and companies. So why the focus on B2B? It's simple, enterprises pay more and the path to monetization is clearer. And YC always focuses on building businesses rather than startups. Let's talk industries. Here's where YC is placing its bets. Developer infrastructure. 70 startups are building tools for AI development, cloud infrastructure, and DevOps. Healthcare. 
47 startups are using AI for clinical trials, drug discovery, and medical billing. Financial services. 46 startups are automating accounting, payments, and insurance. That's a big market. Education. 41 startups are personalizing learning and generating content with AI. What's interesting is how AI is transforming traditional industries. For example, in healthcare, Taxo is automating medical billing. In education, there is a company called Edexia that is creating AI teaching assistants. But not all industries are adopting AI at the same pace. There are industries like manufacturing and agriculture which are lagging. And that could mean opportunities or challenges for future founders. While AI dominates, YC is also betting on some fascinating emerging technologies like space tech. 19 startups are building everything from AI powered satellites to space based data centers. Advanced robotics. 17 startups are automating logistics, manufacturing, and even airport baggage handling. Synthetic biology. 14 startups are using AI to engineer microbes for sustainable mining and next-gen antibiotics. Now, these sectors are still niche and they are growing at a fast pace. So, this tells you that YC is not just about AI. It's more about solving bigger problems with cutting-edge tech. Now, it's worth diving deeper into AI agents because that's the theme of the year. 2025 is all about AI agents. It's all about automations. So, we have AI agents everywhere in YC's latest cohorts. 144 startups building agentic solutions. So, what are they doing? Let's look at the breakdown. Productivity agents. These account for 27% of the use cases. Think AI that does your accounting, like Tableau, manages workflows, Poka Labs, or even acts as your assistant, that is CJ. Now, boring tasks are all solved. Developer tools, 22% of the use cases. Coders, you have this as your dream come true. Now, Mem0 is building memory layers for LLMs. ZeroPath is catching code vulnerabilities. Then we have general purpose agents, 20% of them. These are multitaskers. Kura AI interacts with the web in a natural language. Surebright automates warranties and Plume optimizes energy use. AI that does it all. Customer service, no more terrible support. Parahelp resolves tickets, phonely automates call centers and Canvas helps customer success teams. Now, goodbye the whole music. Sales and marketing. AI is changing sales. Open Fallen finds leads. Convio digs into market research and Tele closes deals with voice agents. Sales have just gotten smarter. Then there are some lagging sectors like legal tech, education, and financial with only 3% of the use cases, 3% uh, of the companies that are building in this particular area. Now, these aren't just tools. They are going to be the future of work. They are automating everything. Now, as many of you would know that uh, YC teams are very small in size. They invest in early stage startups. So most of them are two to three founders. But here's something very interesting. Most of these companies, 62% of them are coming out of San Francisco Bay Area. Now, it could be because of multiple reasons. First is Y Combinator is based in San Francisco. Then there is a huge community. You know, all the legendary companies like OpenAI, Anthropic, and you know many others are in San Francisco. So the community is uh, you know very flourishing. It's super active. Everybody gets to know the latest up and coming solutions. What's trending? What's not? So. That is one of the main reasons that, you know, most of the companies are coming from San Francisco. Then there are some companies coming from New York, some from Europe, London, and uh, there are few companies coming out of Bangalore in India. But the hub is still Silicon Valley. That is still the heart of tech, especially when it comes to AI based solutions. Now there is only so much that I can cover in one video for the full breakdown. 
more trends deeper insights actionable takeaways you can check out my newsletter it's called high signal ai that's where i have shared the full report with the exclusive analysis that you would not find anywhere else and if you're someone who wants to dive even deeper i have compiled this data into a clean formatted csv file so you can get the data as well link is in the description and yeah if you are someone who is eyeing at uh, YC, maybe in the next cohort or upcoming cohorts. So yes, this data is going to be your roadmap to YC funding. If you are an investor, this is going to be your window into the future of tech. If you are just curious, then you'll see how innovation is evolving, how to think about great ideas. Uh, you'll discover some exceptional ideas. All the links are in the description below. That's all. If you found this video useful, insightful, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what other insights you have drawn from this analysis. And yes, do not forget to subscribe. There's a lot more coming your way. You won't regret subscribing. That's all. Thanks for watching. I'll get you guys in the next one.